you're going to realize that my IP address is 421.210.155.108, okay? And we are going to start our UDP and shows HTTP custom ready to use, okay? So when we come in here in my browser to check whether it is really connected. So we have 41 ending with 108, but when I do a refresh, we have a 154 and it ends with a 193. So what is going on everyone? Minabas with you here. Welcome to my channel. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create your own UDP custom or your custom UDP. And let us begin. So firstly, you're going to need a server that you're going to be installing on the UDP script for it to run. There's going to be a VPS that is going to be a Linux VPS, and you are going to need this website to install in your script. And the other thing, if you have any problems uh, purchasing, you are going to have to check out the link in the description of how to get a budget hosting. And this video will show you how to purchase this VPS. Okay, nextly, you're gonna need a script that you're going to be using to install this in your server and let us begin. So I've already purchased my server. I'm gonna be using this instance here that I've already purchased and let us begin. So you are going to need party to do all this. Okay, so let us go into, I'm gonna be putting all the links in the description. Okay, so you can check here in the files and maybe go to the software downloads. When you scroll down, you're going to get party. You can go ahead and download this. It will be, but I've already downloaded mine. So after you do your download, you are going to be following my steps. So when you go ahead and open maybe party on your computer, it's gonna be here. What you're going to do is you're going to launch it. You are going to so if you get your 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 IP address, you are going to open party and then you have to just paste it in this field here. Then go ahead and just open. Okay, so we are going to be logging in into our server and prepare it for installation. Okay, there you go. So when you log in, we are going to just need this script here. And we are also going to need the server here. So the best thing I can do is put them side by side to do to show you exactly what I am doing with the two. And there we go. So I have my party on the side and the script on the other side. So what we're going to do is we are going to first update our server. Usually it's the first thing that we need to do. Press enter. Hoping you know how to paste, you just have to just right click to paste whatever you've copied on the left hand side to the right hand side. Okay, so the update is done. The next thing, so usually if you want to reboot your, your server, you can go ahead and reboot your server, but it's actually going to reboot after I do the installation of this. So you're going to copy this. So you're going to note in this script, you do not have to copy the hash sign so go ahead, right click and copy, then come in here, just right click to paste and you are good to go, just press enter. Okay, so nextly, we're going to make the file that is downloaded executable, copy. Come in here, right click, press enter. And finally, we're gonna be doing the installation. So make sure whatever you're doing in your server, you're running it as root because right here is root. I would have put in sudo fast here, but it's not needed. So go ahead, just right click and press enter. Okay, so we have prompts of installing and installing, adding user and exit. So we want to do the installation, go for option number one. Uh, okay, just, uh, okay, let me just clear this. Let me go full. Okay, so I'm gonna clear. Okay, so we are going to copy this once again and then just copy and then come in here, right click and press enter. Okay, so let's go for the option number one and let's enter. 
it's going to be a very short script and it's going to reboot your server okay so literally our server our udp custom is literally done with the installation so i'm going to be showing you on my phone to test for you to show that it actually works and going on to my phone here i okay so testing to see if my my server is back online the moment i confirm that it is back online i'm gonna go into the restart station okay so we have login here i can log in so i'm logging in as root which is actually what usually i do okay nextly i'm going to be going on to my phone here just to test for you that to show that my custom udp is actually working okay so if i go to http custom here i'm gonna have to put in the ip the port and the user and the password okay so what i'm going to do is to come and copy the check my my vps ip address is it appear here yes it's here okay this is my vp all right uh let me actually see if it can be pasted here ah no nah. can't be pasted okay so let us delete this okay so i'm going to copy my ip address of my server So it's going to be one five one five four one two 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 four one nine three. Okay, so we are going to be putting that sign here. And we're gonna be putting the port. So we are going to be putting a port between one and the biggest possible port. And then finally, we are going to be putting user as root. And then also, I am going to be putting in my password. Okay, so we are going to just activate maybe enable DNS or UDP, but I just want to show you that, okay, uh, before I do this, I want to show you my my IP address. Okay, so when I reload this, you're going to realize that my IP address is 421.210.155.108. Okay, but when I come in here into my HTTP custom, with my UDB custom because uh, I've now configured exactly. So I can come in here, maybe tweak my UDB settings, 643030, 30, just apply. And we are going to start our UDB and it shows HTTP custom ready to use. Okay, so when we come in here in my browser to check whether it is really connected, you can see it's actually bringing advertisements to show that it's really working. Okay, so we have 41 ending with 108, but when I do a refresh, we have a 154 and it ends with a 193. This shows that it is now connected to my server that I heard input here. So you see the 154 and 193. Then you can see that it is the same server that I am browsing into. So also testing to see whether if I enable the DNS with my custom UDP, you can see HTTP. HTTP custom ready to use. So that is how you create your own custom UDP server and you can use it in any instance that you need to use it. So if you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. And if you have any questions, you can drop them in the comment section down below. I appreciate you subscribing to my channel. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.